everyone, this is Crazy Legs here. I've had more than a few requests to speak in my videos, so here's my lovely God-given voice for you. Just wanted to take you through a nest that I built a while back, that I've used a few times and currently refurbished, ready to be used again. It used to look like this back in the day. Uh, I've basically just given it a new colour and cleaned out all the mess so that I can uh, put it back into use. It's a Hebel nest. Uh, looking at the lid here, we've just got a Hebel border with an acrylic screen and stainless steel mesh for some airflow. The acrylic's cut to size just to fit just inside the glass tank. It'll stop any ants getting out and uh, any foreign ants getting in. has a cover to keep the ants in the dark, also made a hebel. I keep it held in place with a couple of magnets here and here, keeps a nice neat finish. Now looking at the nest itself, I've basically cleaned out all the stains and mess with bleach and sat it out into the sun to dry and neutralise that bleach. These magnets that you see here, they used to hold the original screen in place, but I've recently cut a new screen and uh, I'm not going to be using the magnets this time around. We have the nest entrance on the right, and we have the water filler right here on the left. It's always handy to be able to fill that water pot without disturbing the ants. On the bottom, you can see the water pot there. It's basically just a clear plastic pot with a tube and some stainless mesh to allow the moisture and humidity to go into the nest area. On the back here we have a port that's been plugged. That's where I'll be letting the ants enter the nest. Just a bit of convenience. It's cleaned up pretty nice. ready for new ants. On the back here you'll see a couple of magnets. One here, one here. They line up with a couple of magnets on the outworld base and help to locate the nest just to the right position. You can see them here and here. This little part here is just an epoxy putty. I had to put that on there to seal up the gap between the entrance and the tank itself. Rest is pretty straightforward, just a base made out of Hebel and it's glued to the bottom of a glass tank an epoxy adhesive. You can see here when I bring the two pieces together they lock into place. So the magnets are quite strong. I wouldn't want to lift the nest without support but you can certainly slide it around wherever you want it to be. So I'm just going to quickly go and tack a new screen in. Get that all ready. And I will make a little display in the outworld. And 
I will be right back. Okay, so I tacked the screen in with just some coloured blue tack. I filled the water tower, so that's ready to go. And I made a little display uh, in the outworld, just out of some bits of decorative timber and some red desert sand and a piece of granite pebble. So these are the ants that are going in. They are Campanotus nigriceps, quite a large ant. Now it's been quite cold here over the last week, so they've become quite sluggish, which gives me a very good opportunity to get them in there without them going too crazy. put them in there. I'm going to use this bit of blue tack here. I will just prepare the tube by twisting this blue tack around the end. Like so. Just move this nest a little. this plug and away we go. Careful not to disturb them so they don't go wild on me. I'll just press this blue tack nice and firmly, make a good seal around that port. Make sure it's held on there very well. Put the cover on so that it's nice and dark inside the nest. And I'll come back a little later on to see if they make a move. It's been about two hours and I've come back to have a look and I've noticed that there's only one straggler left in the tube. Let's have a look what it's up to. Doing a little bit of cleaning. It's always one. making the move. Nope, no such luck. We have another worker here. Maybe she will uh, give that ant the memo that uh, everybody's moved in. Oh, 
Whoa, take it easy. I'm not exactly sure what sort of communication's going on there. But it may have just done the trick. Now's my opportunity to remove the tube and plug that port. Get rid of this bit of tack. And there we go. Just check this tube to make sure there's no eggs remaining. Looks clear. I guess we better take a look to see what they're doing in there. spread out in there. Got most of the brood near the water pot there. A few just around the corner. Let me grab a torch to see if I can get a better look at that. These ants are uh, nocturnal, so the queen's probably not liking that torch. Looks like she's about to make a run for it to the outworld. No, she knows better than to go out there. So as I was saying, these ants are nocturnal, so maintenance will be done during the day when most of them are in the nest. They send their workers out of an evening to see what they can find. to put them back into the dark and let them settle in. And there we have it. Thank you very much for watching everyone. Catch you on the next one.